Hey guys, this is Sdb Terren and welcome back sa ating basic web development tutorial series. So for today, we are at episode 9 and we are going to talk about JavaScript's HTML DOM. So without further ado, ano nga ba yung HTML DOM? So DOM stands for Document Object Model. So ano yung HTML DOM? It is the model of a website. So kada website na gagawin natin and kada website sa internet na nakikita nyo, we have something called HTML DOM which is yung structure ng ating HTML. So, nandun lahat ng elements natin, nandun lahat ng laman ng ating website. So, ano yung kinalaman ng HTML DOM sa ating JavaScript? So, as you can see here, we have the JavaScript's power. So, ano yung kayang gawin ng JavaScript sa HTML DOM? So, first of all, it can control every aspect of the DOM. So, it can it can change yung mga laman ng ating HTML. So, kunwari may nakalagay na na paragraph doon, he can change it to header. So, kung pwede siya maging h1, so pwede niyang palitan lahat ng aspect. So, pwede nga niyang palitan yung CSS ng ating website. But, it is for another tutorial. Then, secondly, it can create dynamic websites. So, dahil nga kaya na natin control yung every aspect ng DOM, pwede natin palitan yung image na nandun. Then, alam niyo naman kung ano yung dynamic websites, di ba? So, we have two types of website called static websites and dynamic websites. So, yung mga static websites, hindi siya nagbabago. So, hindi nagbabago yung laman niya. And, uh, yung dynamic website naman, nagbabago-bago yung content niya. So, yung JavaScript nga, dahil kaya na niya kontrolin yung, yung website natin, we can create a dynamic website na, na nagpapalit yung content niya. So, okay? Gets nyo ba? So, for today, pag-aaralan lang natin kung paano mag-change ng HTML content. So, pag-aaralan natin yung tatlo na to, yung document.write, document.getElementById.innerHTML, and yung document.getElementById.src. So, ayan yung tatlo natin pag-aaralan. But, marami pa tayong tinatawag na DOM functions na ililive ko na lang sa description yung link para mapag-aralan nyo. So, katulad dyan ng mga elements, sobrang rami niya para ituro. So, basahin nyo na lang and ituturo ko sa inyo yung madalas nagagamit and yung pinaka-basic na mga nagagamit na DOM functions. So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's go and code sa ating Notepad++. So, lipat na kayo ng Notepad++ and create a new basic structure na HTML. So, I have prepared something na website para sa ating tutorial for today. So, ito yung ginawa naming website. So, ayan lang siya. So, reload muna natin. May... Ayan. So, this is a closed door. Meron tayong h1 na this is a closed door, which is ito. May ID siya na header. Pero naman tayong door na IMG ID is equals to door. So, may ID siya na door. And yung SRC niya, closed door that PNG. Then, meron tayong dalawang button, which is yung open door and closed door, which is eto. So, wala siyang ginagawa. Button lang siya. So, design lang siya. Mamaya, lalagyan natin yan ng function and ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano. Then, we have the script tag, which is an external JavaScript again. So, kung hindi nyo pa alam yung internal and external JavaScript, I recommend you watching the this episode na lalabas sa screen nyo. So, ayun yung about external and internal JavaScript. So, dahil nga naka-external JavaScript tayo, we have another file called fnc.js which is eto yung nasa taas na to, fnc.js. So, wala siyang laman. So, guys, dapat magkasama sa isang folder yon kung gusto nyong gumana. So, ayan, eto yung folder ko. Meron tayong index.html which is this. We have the fnc.js file which is yung nasa src natin, yung javascript natin. And we have the closed door.png and the open door.png which is yung closed door ginagamit natin right here. So, dapat nasa isang folder siya. Okay? Good. Now, let's try to learn yung unang DOM function which is yung document.write. So, establish na, na meron na tayong elements dito. So, we are going to the fnc.js and then katulad nga nung sinabi, let's try the document.write. So, what does this document.write do? So, from the word itself, document.write, magsusulat siya sa HTML file natin. Then, open and close parentheses, then semicolon, tapos sa loob nun, text or something, ayan, something, lagay natin something, save natin, save, then punta tayo dun sa website natin, and then i-reload natin. Reload, and as you can see, kailan nyo walang nagbago, but there is something. Ayan, there is something. So, may 
nadagdag na something dito. So, ayan. Ayan yung ginagawa ng document that right. So, we can even write a full HTML dito. So, kung mga naglagay tayo h1 tapos slash h1 then sinave natin control s then let's reload this. And as you can see, it will turn into an h1 element. So, almost anything you can write gamit yung document that right na yan. Okay? So, yun lang yung ginagawa ng document that right. Okay. Good. So, eto yung document that right natin. It I-delete na natin yan. So, alam nyo na kung ano yung document that right. Now, let's go on sa mas complicated na stuff. So, we have the document that get element by id, id.innerHTML. So, as you can see, um, let's type that syntax, document that get element by id, then dalawang parenthesis, dot inner HTML equals something, yan save natin yan. So, as you can see, meron tayong get element by id. So, kung naiintindihan nyo yan, kung naging English kayo, get element by id. Kukunin natin yung isang element gamit yung id niya. So, we have to put the id inside this parenthesis. So, let's go to the, our index HTML. So, that's why meron tayong id dito. So, may h1 tayo na id niya, header. So, kukunin natin yan gamit yung id nga. So, we will put Quotation mark, header. So, ibig sabihin, nakuha na natin yung header na HTML. Pwede na natin siya i-edit. Ngayon, ang papalitan natin is yung inner HTML niya, which is eto. This is a closed door. So, gagawin ko, papalitan ko lang siya na something. Hi, stupid situation, people. And, i-save natin ngayon. Control S. And as you can see, guys, dito, nakalagay, this is a, a closed door, right? Ngayon, pagka nireload natin to, as you can see, magbabago siya. Reload, high SDPT solution people. So, we can now control our website using the JavaScript. So, nakakapag-interact na tayo sa design ng ating website. So, ayun yung ginagawa ng that inner HTML na yan. And we can, kunwari, naglagay pa tayo ng paragraph dito, id is equals to some high p save, reload, may high dito. So, we can also control that. So, kahit anong HTML element, basta may ID, makukontrol niya. So, save. Ayan. Save natin yan. And then, if we reload this, makikita nyo, ayun na. Ayan nyo. So, ayun yung ginagawa ng ating document that get element by ID. So, that inner HTML. And next naman tayo, we will interact with this picture. So, ayan. Close door. Ayan. Close door. So, let's delete this. Ayan yung ginagawa ng dot in yung HTML. We will just ibahin lang natin yung content ng isang H element. Okay? So, next naman, we have the document that get element by ID dot SRC. So, madalas naman, nagbabago lang is yung dulo. So, lagi natin kukunin yung element by ID. Okay? So, let's type that function, or I mean syntax, document that get element by id dot src. So, nakikita nyo naman, kaya niyang control yung lahat din ng attributes. So, pwede niyang palitan yung src ng isang element. So, ito yun. So, ito yung papalitan natin na src. We have the id door, so we need to put the id here in the middle of the parenthesis. Door is equals to, so, ayan, save so, closed door.png nakalagay dito. Then, we have something called open door.png. So, papalitan natin siya and we will put open door.png. Then, control S. Lipat tayo sa ating website. And as you can see, sarado yan, guys. Sarado. Sarado. And if we reload this, boom! Bumukas. <laughs> Amazing, right? So, ayan. <laughs> matinding ginagawa ng ating javascript. Guys, so, ayan yung document.getElementById.src Pwede niyang palitan yung image dun sa loob na ng img tag. So, img element. So, marami pa yan, guys. So, sabi ko nga, maraming DOM function, but we are going to teach yung pinaka-basic and yung pinaka-ginagamit lang para maintindihan natin yung logic, guys. So, I will leave the link in the description 
ng iba pang DOM functions and paglaruan nyo yung JavaScript and HTML kasi nakatuwa siya kasi nai-interact nyo na yung website sa inyong programming language na JavaScript. Okay, now we will apply all of this together. So, I will teach you about yung on-click attribute sa open door and close door button na to. But first guys, let me refresh your mind. So, if you haven't watched the last video, I recommend you watching it kung hindi nyo pa alam yung function and variables. So, mainly we are going to use functions dito. So, kung naalala nyo pa yung function syntax, we will put the function keyword, then function name, kunwari um, open door. Open door, and then open and close parentheses. Wala tayong parameters right now kasi open lang natin yung door. And then, dalawang curly braces, magka-partner, enter, enter. Sa gitna na ito, ito na yung code natin. So, what we want to do, pagka in-open natin yung door, so, i-reload muna natin ito. So, this is a closed door. So, sarado siya. So, what we first want to do is open the door. So, papalitan natin tong image na to. So, again, document, that get element, by ID, open and close parentheses, which is itong ID na to, door. Papalitan natin yung door. Then, papalitan natin yung image which yung that, that src nga equals to again, that open door. Open door dot png. So, laging kasama yung extension file nya. Okay? Then, semicolon. So, ayan. So, if we reload this, makikita nyo walang magbabago. So, reload. Hindi siya bumukas, di ba? So, even if I click here, hindi siya mag-open. So, this is where the on-click attribute comes from. So, ayan, di ba? Kung naalala nyo pa from the last tutorial, we can also call the function from here, open door. So, if we save this and then i-reload natin ito, magbubukas na siya. But, what if we want to click this bago siya mag-open? So, pagkakinig natin siya, magbubukas. So, let's delete this. So, hindi natin kailangan tawagin dyan. Then, let's go to our index.html. And in our open door button, we will go and add the attribute on click. So, space on click is equals to the long quotation marks. And we will put our function here, which is yung open door. So, we will put open door, open and close parentheses. Control S, save. And then, let's go to our HTML file. So, let's reload this. Reload. So, naka-close yan. Close yan. And once we click this button, so pagka pinindot natin close door, walang nangyayari, di ba? So, if we click this open door, wow, bumukas siya. <laughs> so, that is the on-click attribute, guys. So, new knowledge ba? So, I hope so. So, ayan. We have the open door. So, reload ulit natin and buksan natin. Wow! So, what we want is palitan din to. This is an open door. So, kung naalala nyo pa, kailangan lang natin i-put yung document that get element by ID, which is yung header, header yung ID niya, header, dot inner HTML, then equals this is an open door. Boom. Save, reload, close door, when we open this, this is an open door. Okay? So, naka-open na siya. So, we cannot close it yet. So, what we want to do next, guys, is to also implement the closed door. So, pag open natin, pwede pa rin natin siya i-close and then i-open ulit. So, what what shall we do? So, it is pretty obvious naman na gagawa pa tayo ng isang function which is called closed door. Closed door, open and close parentheses, curly braces, enter, enter. Then, i-copy na lang natin to kasi vice versa lang naman yung gagawin natin. I-paste natin yan. We still need this door and then papalitan natin to ng close door that png close door that png and then we will change this to this a this is a close door so control s save so as you can see hindi pa natin ini implement dito so hindi siya gagana so we will implement yung on click then copy na lang natin to enter or, or paste <laughs> so sorry close door. So, as you can see, meron na tayong closed door, meron na tayong open door. And we both ca called it in our each button. So, na-save na natin and then we should reload this. I'm so sorry. Napundot ko. So, yan. We have a, this is a closed door. Hi. 
Then we have an open door and closed door button. So if we close this, walang na yare kasi closed lang ang shape. Now if we open this, wow, it opened. Now we want to close this door. So this is an open door. If we close this, this is a closed door. So we can now open and close our door in JavaScript. Is isn't that amazing, guys? This is so fun to play with. So guys, um, kung naintindihan nyo na lahat to, and yung logic nyan, then you are ready to go on sa next tutorial natin. So, matatapos na ang ating web development series, basic web development series, and um, I hope na may naintindihan kayo in this past episodes. So, eto muna ituturo ko sa inyo about the DOM. So, ililive ko nga yung link sa description para pag-aralan nyo pa yung ibang DOM function and basahin nyo yun and try nyo i-apply sa sarili nyo yung code so mag-aral kayo ng magbabasa kayo and then itatry nyo sa W3 Schools yung pinaka-best na website na i-recommend ko for web development or web design part particularly web design so okay guys, um, thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something from me today and as always guys I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.